talking about difficult season, we'll look at it. Has it happened before in the Bible? What was the way out? How were they able to cope? Because the Bible makes us to understand that there is nothing that, that is happening that we are facing now that has never happened to some people before. Do you believe that? It's in the Bible. There is nothing. Only go sing koto shele. Me mama shen koti and yoruba that it has never happened before. It has happened before and it is written. It's because we don't read much. To those who doesn't read much about Bible, there is nothing that is happening now that has never happened before. Only that it came in a in a in a how will I call it in a different way. And before God can ask us to you know go through His Word, He told us to be reading the Word every day. He says so that we can apply the knowledge of the Word. So definitely such a difficult time as we are experiencing it like now has happened before and i pray in jesus name the lord who gave uh the, our fathers and mothers of faith victory in their own time will give us victory in our times in jesus name we want to look at how covenant people excel in difficult season part two and in our study today we'll be learning from the life of elijah the tishbat the prophet we shall learn from how he was able to excel in a difficult season. A season where food were very expensive. It got to a stage it was so scarce that even to use their money to buy it was difficult. They cannot, we in, I mean, in Nigeria presently, we say we can say some such a thing is happening. In fact, I've, we've seen a lot going on. We can say what happened during the time of Elijah is actually happened. I pray it won't exceed what we are experiencing. Now, though, if we look at it in another in direct or indirect way, such as in what happened then is happening gradually. But we as a covenant people shall overcome in Jesus, in Jesus' name. Sorry. So we want to see how it survived. How God covenant people survive. How was it possible for them to make it? And we can at least open our Bible and, you know, see some of the things that happens to them and how they came out of it. We are going to take our first scriptural passage from the book of First Kings chapter 17 from verse 1 to verse 6. First Kings 17, 1 to 6. It will be the first passage we'll be reading this morning. It will be about uh, six verses from First Kings chapter 17 from verse 1 to verse 6. Shall we please in God's, uh, on, I mean, in honor of God's word, rise together. Let's read. I'll read the first verse. You'll read the second one until when we finish it. Praise God. Let's go. I will read the first uh, verse and you will read the second. Please, our media, let's try and be fast about it. Number one says, And Elijah the Tishbat, who was of the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto Ahab, has the Lord God of Israel lived before woman stand, there shall no be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And you read verse 2. Number 3. Get thee ends and turn thee eastward, and eat thyself by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. And verse 4. Verse 4, please, let's have it. Verse 5, say, So he went and did according unto the word of the law. For he went and dwelt by the brook chariot, chariot that is before Jordan. And verse 6, together, And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. Father, this is your word. Please, bless us with it this morning in Jesus' name. The Bible says the entrance of your word, give a light and understanding unto the simple. We are simple, Lord. Give unto us understanding of your word this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make use of my voice to speak your word to your people this morning, and let every soul be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we, you, you have answered us. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, let's have a seat. Thank you for honoring God's word. And from where we've read this morning, it shows to us that 
there will be a season like this. And that is the reason why the record of it is being written down to, for us to see. The book of 1 Kings chapter 17 from verse 1 to 6. Still on the way, covenant people excel in difficult times. Our anchor scriptures show us important lessons. I want us to look at about two or three points today. But I will, I will try if we can uh, meet up to three. But let's take the first one. In verse 2, verse 2 shows us that the voice of God was the foundation that prophet Elijah trusted upon to get help from God. And the most important factor require, required is your ability to hear God. I want us to know something this morning. With what we are studying, we said, how does the covenant people do what? Excel in difficult times. The first point I want us to know, how we can excel as a person, as a child of God, is for us to know how to hear God. God's servant kept telling us, to those of you, who maybe God, have, God has uh, been able to pass a message across to you that you should leave the, uh, Nigeria, you should leave the country. So he said, make sure you hear him. Because so many people travel and they are sleeping on the, on the main road. So many are abroad presently having difficulties. Some of them... They say, what shall I jack my? Let's pack everything and everybody just run. But the point that we want to bring out this morning is for us to be able to do what? To hear what God is saying. Everybody is going. Everybody is running from where there is difficulty. Is it God that asks them to run? If God did not ask you to run, if you run, you will be in soup. Look at that verse 2. The verse 2 says, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee the word of the Lord. At this moment, this season that we find ourselves in Nigeria and all over the world, what is God saying to you? Until we can hear him clearly, we won't know how to move. We won't know what to do. We won't know how to handle situation. But the word of God is real and is clear. Only to those who can listen. It was the foundation that prophet Elijah trusted upon to get help from God. And the most important factor required is your ability to hear God. If you as a child of God does not know how to hear God, I tell you clearly that you will just be moving yourself in danger zone. I was watching a, uh, a kind of uh, an interview very early this morning, when I was having my prayer, after the prayer I was reading, and I just want to check through, you know, the internet. And I saw it, an interview. Somebody was being interviewed. They, he turned his back. Uh, and I was like, the caption on it was like, the, this man, supposed to be in UK by now, but he was kidnapped on the way. By the time they make the interview, they asked him what happened. He said, sir, ma, I'm surprised I find myself here. I've been given visa. I'm about going to the airport. The man that helped me to prepare all my documents and everything said, I will call the boat to come and pick you up so that they can take you to the airport so that you won't meet your, your flight. He said, he, go, he waited and waited. The man called, the boatman said, I can't get to where you are because of the traffic. So how do we do it? He said, okay, don't bother, don't bother. He called the person that made the arrangement. Don't worry, I'll just enter a bus that will take me down. One chance was the bus he, 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 he boarded. With all the documents in his hand, he said he just find himself that after about a few minutes, the condor blew something as if somebody is putting the perfume on. You know, we, you know how they used to do it as if he's, he said he's looking at the guy that what is wrong? Putting perfume, you condo, that it doesn't even matter. Only for him to check and look at everybody. Everyone is asleep. By the time they, he himself will, will know what was going on, they find themselves in front of a very beautiful house. Very big house. 
So that was where they started waking all of them. Open your eyes. You are here. We are going to the airport. What happened? Why, why am I here? See, that was the only thing he remembered. It was just God's mercy that helped him. You know, know when I was, I was watching it this morning, the Holy Spirit was telling me, did the Lord ask him to move? You know, we covenant children, we don't know the benefits. Eh? We don't know what we are enjoying in God. At times, God may tell us, you know, something may just, he may not even say some things because some of us, we are not coming on to listen to him. We may not, you know, some of us, we are, I, I want to do all my things. But something may, the, God barricade the road. But it, it was not, how, how will I call it? It was not as sensitive enough. Because in the first place, the boat that came to pick him said, there is an old up. He's supposed to wait. But some of us, out of, we want to calculate. Do you know how much it will be if I should miss my flight? Missing the flight now. And the other, they took everything from his handle. They took his passport, everything from him. So what is the essence? We will have allowed God to be the one leading us. Let's hear him. I used to pray, pray, Father, barricade all roads that lead nowhere. He be told, Baron, he might get me the bell. And anytime my children are going out, I do say it. He be told you alone, Wobato. And you my the bell. Do you know the reason why I used to say, Go and shake Bobo, he be, oh, you alone, one Bobo, he be, but he be told, Fair, oh, what part time? Part time. And that's the reason why we must be sensitive. Not all roads lead to a good place. Not all roads lead to a good place. We must be sensitive. The word of God came to Elijah. I'm Elijah, stay where you are. Let's go on. I can tell you clearly that you are within what? The danger zone. In 1 Samuel chapter 28 verse 8, 6. 1 Samuel 28 6. 1 Samuel 28 6 says, And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Shetiram won't point it to your if man buying your sorrow. Because somebody will say, I cannot understand. They said we should hear God. But the Bible I read today say, Whoa! Unto you. You know, some of us, as we open Bible, say, Father, where am I going to read this morning? Where am I going to read this morning? Holy Spirit, where am I going to read? You just open one page. Like that. Bra. Only for you to open, Whoa! Unto you. I say, In Jesus' name, I reject. I reject. And that's the reason why some of us are discouraged from, from, from reading the Bible. Because if you are looking for who, oh, plenty in the Bible. So by you opening, you say, Father, Father, where am I going to read? Oh, where am I going? There was a day my daughter was asking, say, Mommy, I don't understand this thing. I have, I have this particular passage. I don't, I say, now, do you know something? If you want to have interest in reading Bible, do you know what you're supposed to do? It's, she said, what? I said, go and be reading characters. Look for, like, I open, I said, open to the book of First Samuel. Read first sermon. Read second sermon. You will see Bible characters that you want to look at. What happened from the beginning of the life of that person to the end will be from either first sermon, second sermon, third sermon. I mean, first king, second king, first chronicle, second chronicle. I say like that. You will discover that you will enjoy reading a story about some of your age mates in the Bible. And that was how she caught that spirit. She said, and I enjoy it all. I'm enjoying it all. I said that if you just open Bible, eh, you close your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will just open the book of Naum. Woe unto the people of Israel. You will be discouraged. So for you to read Bible and understand, look for Bible characters. Are you getting my point? It will, it, it, it will, it will develop a kind of interest. You want to know the end. What happened? And gradually you will begin to love reading Bible. And gradually the word of God will come we, we, we be coming to you and you will know what he's saying part time. I told you I was in a dream one day and the word of God came to me. I was, very, I was still a young lady then. And the word came to me. I, I, I got a dream and as I was about to open my eyes, a word came to me with joy. Shall you draw out water out of the well of salvation? 
I just jotted, I did not know it was in the Bible. Until one day when I was reading through the Bible, I got that place in the book of Isaiah. I said, wow, I show sure one no Bible. With joy, shall you draw out what, and it has become my anchor scripture. Whenever I'm facing challenges or anything, that is what I, where I will go. It says with, to me that with joy, do you understand that scripture? It shows that whenever you are having difficulties, it will be with joy. Just turn to this scripture. It becomes my hand scripture. And somebody will say, how will God speak? God speaks through his servant. Apart from the word of God, this Bible, God speaks through his servant, which are prophets. God speaks through dreams. If we dwell on it today, we will not live. God speaks through so many areas. You know, some signs at times, God speaks through them. God can go to a, a nearby friend, a spiritual person, to speak to them about you. But if we dwell on that, we will not live here. But it shows to us in the book of 1 Samuel 28, verse 6, that God can speak to you through dreams. He can speak to you through prophets. In those days, through Urim and Urim. The Bible says these are the medium in which we are, uh, in which God speaks to his people in those days, even up to now. But because some of us are not calm enough to listen to him, that's the reason why we have challenges. And somebody will say, Ah, along with this, along so for me, we must share running or come, we must share running or come, we must share row. But because you are not calm enough to listen to him, you will make mistake. Beloved, this was the point that King Saul got to before he lost his life. I say this again. Any child of God who no longer hear God speak to him or her again is within the danger zone. the word. You cannot get anything from the word again. Something is wrong. Check yourself. In your dreams, you are not getting anything again. Something is wrong. Through God's servant, maybe he's preaching. It may not be one-on-one -on -one conversation. It may be through his ministration. That God, the word will come to you. This is my way. This is how you should do it. If you cannot get anything from there, something is wrong. And that's, I want you to know that such a person is in a danger zone. A womb belly. There is danger on the way. And that's the reason why the word of God should be number one thing in our Before you stand off in your house every day, you should hear the word. The Bible says the entrance of his word give a light and understanding unto the simple. The word of God, the word of God he is the only thing that will tell you, Otia, jump. Stand up. Move now. Some people are ganging against you. Go and hear what they are saying. It has happened severally. If you read your word, the word of God, you will see God will, God is ever faithful. But it's because we are not calm to listen to him. That's the reason why we find ourselves in problems. Let's look at what does it mean for a child of God not to hear God, God again. Because that was what happened to, to, to uh, King Saul here. And it's only the word that can put us right, that can show us the way. Let's look at the number one point. Number one, it means that even when he reads or listens to the reading word of God, it will make no message, no, no sense to him. It will be like a mere story without a personal message to him or her. What does it mean for a child of God not to hear God again? Number one, it means that even when he, he reads or listens to the written word of God, it will make no sense. It's because you are gradually losing it. You are gradually losing it. And in this difficult season, it's only the word that will tell you, yeah, change that business now. Move to another direction. This thing is not working. But if you, cannot, if you cannot hear him again, the devil is at, at the door. If you cannot hear God again, if you cannot hear him again, number one sign you will notice is that when you read the word, it will be like story. Like I said, whoa. If you're not reading Yoruba, a benefit. Somebody 
they will now say, ah, but, ah, okay, okay, maybe there is a mistake. You now go to Psalm. You know, Psalms is full of different, uh, bless, bless, bless. They will now look for a sweet part in the Psalm, uh -huh, Psalm 23. Abi, let me read that one. That one is okay. And that's not what God has for you for that moment. Just because you just want to say, ah, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall, I shall know want. I will lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. Yes, you begin to quote that one because it suits you. But there are sometimes the word of God may be pointing something to you on that aspect that you just left. That whoa, I say, eh, me, me, okay, okay. He wants to say something, but you are stopping him. And also, like those people that anytime they are preaching, they are picking the point that is against them. Oh, let me not preach. What are they saying? They are actually talking about me. And some people, because of that, they will not listen to the sermon throughout the, the program. And meanwhile, that is what God wants them to hear at that moment. So when you are losing it, as in when, when you as a child of God is no more hearing God like King Saul, it means that even when you read or listen to the word of God, it will make no sense, no message to you. It will be like a mere story. Like, what, why, why, why is everybody being excited? They are saying nonsense. Are you people are, but because he's not getting anything from it again. Let's look at number two. The second point on how, what, it, what it means for a child of God not to hear God again. Such a person will not have any direct or indirect means of getting a message from God. And the summary of it all is that such a person will not have access to any message from God. There won't be any direct or indirect message again. Direct message. You will, you, I don't know whether you, are, you have experienced it before. In your dream, you see yourself that you are sleeping. Somebody is instructing you. By the time you wake up, you will like be looking at it. Is it a dream? Is it physical? In your dream, they are waking you up, telling you something. By the time you will now open your eyes to the physical, you will now be like, you sleep again. The same dream continue. God is saying something. Telling your, your mighty family, lose it. Such dreams will not come again. Check yourself. I want us to check it because we are, this season that we are in, we need the word from God. And if all these direct messages are not coming any longer, something is wrong. Oh, danger is on our door. Indirect messages at times, you may sit down and wherever you are, maybe God is speaking through God's servant. It may be even through anybody. And somebody is saying, ah, I don't know whether you are getting me. Instead of you to gain something from what that person is saying, you'll be looking at the king. Actually, God is speaking through that person. Have you not seen a small child telling you something? And God is passing a message through that child. He may just say, ah, so 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 something one to four. So 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 something one to four. You know, you may be making jest and say, ah, and actually, God is actually telling the child that if God can speak through uh, a donkey, is that not indirect word, indirect message? Somebody will say, she donkey, man, sorry. And that was the reason why the prophet eat the donkey. Come on, keep quiet. What kind of nonsense are you saying? I will still show you some point this uh, morning over this particular point I'm talking about. Because some of us will say, and the Bible says, the prophet eat the donkey. Keep quiet. How, God, how can God be speaking through you? She the donkey already. For God to speak through such, you stop, the prophet is supposed to listen. <laughs> donkey, stalking. And in a difficult situation, God can, can come in any area. Especially this level, this season that we find ourselves. <laughs> Some people may come to you and say, Nisi, I want to tell all my things, I'm traveling. You may not know the reason why God has been telling you to be keeping money and to be saving money. Somebody may just come your way and say, I want to sell all my things. And you are like, you want to sell your... You know some of them say, oh, 
the person is mass person a message. It is when that person now left and maybe travel. You will not say, Oh, they suffer me, comfort and won't come. Direct or indirect message. If you are not sensitive to hear it again, you are losing it. Not in this difficult time. Not in this era where everything is tight. Where uh, uh, everyone is looking for a greener pasture. Everyone is looking for how things will be easy. Listen. Why we God decide not to speak to a person? Let, let's, let, me, let me show us the answer to this. Why we God decide not to speak to a person? God will decide to stop speaking to a person when he or she becomes unrepentantly disobedient. When somebody is a stubborn person, very, you know, disobedient, he will decide to be quiet. Just like what I said. In your best, in Katekete and sorrow, and he prophet, God say you should not go that way. He why? Over we for here. Come on, I say, keep quiet and stop talking nonsense. What are you saying? Keep quiet for me. After God have told him not to go, God went into the donkey to go and talk to him through the donkey. He said, I'm not listening. And that's the reason why at times when God noticed that he has passed message across, indirect, indirect, you did not listen. God will be quiet. And that was what happened to Saul. God decided not to answer Saul any longer. Somebody will say, how long will I pass here? Who shall I hate his son? Oh, no, they will pick his son. God picked him because when he picked him, he was an obedient child. But by the time he wants to destroy him, he has become a disobedient child. And that was the reason why God decided not to listen to him again. Before God can decide not to talk and say, my water, my feel crown on in yellow bruju, the person has become unrepentantly disobedient to him. And that's the reason why he will be quiet. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, 22, 23. 1 Samuel 15, 22, 23. And Samuel said, has the Lord, he said, has the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice? Has in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to act in than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and, dis and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And because of it, God, uh, because you have rejected the word of the law, he has also rejected it from being king. When I saw this one, I remember there was a particular person that was canceling. I said that on, on here last week. I said the reason why at times God will be quiet over some issues is because he has sent messages to you severally. He has sent people to you to cancel you. Don't walk in that path. Don't walk in this path. Come back. Turn back. Wait for me. But some people will say, Me say, me or see they were saying me. Mo she in one continue. And I was canceling some somebody sometime, a very long time. I said, so and so person, you are having problem in marriage. It's because anytime we cancel you, don't go to that person's house, you will not listen. You are relating with somebody. Hold on. Let the relationship be strong before you move. You say you want to go and visit. You are visiting the person. You will fall a victim. And if a man should touch was where he does not suppose to touch on time, what is the essence of getting married again? He said, Mutiri in Kosimo Ferry, so there is no need. I said, that's how it will be. They will just be picking you and be dropping you. Calm down. Hold yourself tight and make up your mind that this relationship I'm into, I won't allow you. I say, if you can hold on that, I'm telling you. The day of your wedding, the person will be begging you with flower because he knows that you are precious. But you know, when I get over my son, my son knows how to do that thing very well. He will be using his, this thing to talk. You know, he will not hear. And it's used to pay me and say, ha, ha, in this world that we are in, well, I need the key alone so can lay. He speaks through human being. He speaks through what he has created. And if you can speak through all this to us, it's a lesson for us to hear. There was another person. One of my, my, my sister here will, will remember. I told the person, move from where you are taking your uh, antenna. Move away from there and come closer. Go to a better place. They helped me to pass the message across. She moved, actually. I said, hey, when you are having such a child at this age you don't stay where you went to go and register move i did not see anything no. but one thing about me is that i will only cancel and i pass the message across ma can you help me pass the message across and the person told her come and go to a private hospital where they will take care of you he said no problem they got there 
you know, some of us at times, we are funny. We woman be. <laughs> God will help us. The person said, ah, the money, he came and said he wants to see my husband. He said, the money is too much. Yes, sir. The clinic is too much. What they are demanding is this and that. My husband says, eh, have you discussed with your husband? He said, eh, no problem. I said, my husband said, okay, if there is no problem, call the man. Two of them now sat and said, how far? It was during their discussion we got to know that it was not the man that said he doesn't have the money. It's two of them that collided and said the money for the private hospital is too much. So let's go and look for a better place. They now said they want to relocate. I was so pissed off as they were talking. I was pressing my phone. Oh, that's my husband said, I passed MC, that's it. I said, ah. I went there left. I said, what you move? What you move? Let her be. <laughs> Let her do what she wants to do. I mean, I cannot. I don't know what I saw. He said, so you are the one that asked them to move. I said, I asked them to move. But let the will of God be done. They've bought everything. You've, they've done everything. Only for me to hear one nonsense news. When they told me what she's learned for was what she went to go and meet there. And the negative happened. When they told me, I said, man of God, didn't I say it? I told them to move from there. In our generation now, I don't know what they have done to all our women. Who, maybe now the Indomie, where they chop. Who, where, I said, but I know that they would actually need assistance. In our days, don't say ah, the prayer. Yes, we are praying. But when they brought the baby out, the baby was about 5 kg. Will I push the baby half myself in this generation? I don't need anybody to tell me that. The reason why God gave those doctors wisdom is for them to help us. Hey, your tiny first person to your operation was in our God. The Bible says, Make the man to sleep. And he came, he brought out the ribs from his side. The Bible says, He closed the place up and he becomes, Shane, you cannot be there anyway. We should have the understanding. On the, the day I got that, they will say, We should pray. One, he bear, one, he fell back, bear, can he come? One, it's old prayer, so I'm sorry to say that too. He still exists, but me, oh, if you are using mission, use the news and a medical hospital. They qualified us because at the end of the day, when the thing turn in their hand, they will refer you. So what is the answer? You will have to lose your life before then. And when the negative happened, when our sister told me the story, I said, ah, what a pathetic. Sorry, oh, she will bear the pain, but nothing to carry. May not be our portion in Jesus' name. But the point is, when God is saying a word, he's saying the, the Bible says he sent forth his word. And the word, do what? He let them and delivered them from their destruction. If the word of God be sent to you, don't say no. And he said, or then she, oh, my dad. Oh, my dad. Oh, my dad. Oh, my dad. One of our brother, when the wife was in labor, when, she, she, when he called, the first question I asked my husband, where is your wife? He said, he's in a good hospital. So, so, and so, so hospital. I said, okay. Yeah, but calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Stop crying. Calm down. You are in a safe hand. She will go in and come out. Not that. Eh, we just stood up. He whined. I sat, I sat on my servant of God. Wala day. He was not saying, I said, I told them to take this girl to a a nearby, a good hospital where they will help her. A first child for that matter. How will she cope with, you know? And we started praying. I told them, come out of your house now and start looking for a cab. Take her straight to the hospital. One year, I won't work with, come on my fillet, come on my fillet. You fillet for his first child? Ah, hey, 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 hey. Not in this generation. And that was how they quickly moved her. By the time they got there, thank God I own you. But the baby refused to cry. We started praying. The man of God said, Pastor MC MC Rogo. Man of God, stand up. Let's start praying. And the reason is because the mother will go through, not even the father now. The father God will go through stress because he will be the one to be going up and down. But we'll have save ourselves the stress. Azumi will listen to instruction. In our church, where we are not against that. Yes, you go up for of prayers. And do you know the reason why we stop having meetings of uh, we gather those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb? Uh, can it, come? it makes people, they will be more than enough in our church. So, in Kotenyo, Bafeko, multiply. 
in your kitchen, in your own garden. Okay, we say, we gather, mom, do you understand, ma? You gather widows. What are you saying? I want you now, in your corner, Abi, let's go look for more widows. Before you know it, I want young, young, uh, so whatsoever you don't want to get in, uh, multiply, you don't gather. A single sister, that was the reason why I stopped it. And some people took offense. I said, single sister, what is the meaning of that? Let's have women. The Bible God call us women. Do you understand? Let's gather women. Womb women. By the time we gather ourselves, there is no how you will not get married. There is no how you will not have your own husband. There is no how you will not have your own children. You will be a grandmother. That is the reason for that group. Able help us. No single sister. Everything is joined together. I don't know whether you understand me tonight. I mean, this morning, sorry. So, when the word of God comes forth, some people reject it. And I ask our sister, all the loads that they bought, who will now use it? She load in the first thing. I'll be medical, medical attention. May the Lord give unto us understanding in the name of Jesus. God will be quiet when he notices that people that he's, he's leading, he's instructing, he's, he's all, all repentant, you know, he's disobedient. Somebody that is so, so hardened to correct. God will not talk again and say, okay, man, shit, you know it. The Bible says, once have I spoken. And twice have I heard. If God speaks once, let it be one, two. Go. Let it be go, go, go. In your ear. If you tell you stand, let it be stand, stand, stand. Not that you hear it and you are expecting God to keep repeating it. And I what In this difficult time, listen to God's word. Let the word of God prevail in you. Either direct or indirect word. Now look at it. Say, a wise man said, the Lord God Almighty will not give you a new instruction until you have obeyed the last one he gave you. Almighty God will not give you new instruction. If he should tell you, sit down, sit down. Please pay attention to the way you notice God speaks to you and treasure it diligently. Several times, he speaks through the word, he speaks personally, he speaks through dreams. And whenever I'm having my quiet time, I used to have time after I've prayed, I will be quiet. I will not be using my hinama to check everywhere, check every angle. It was until when one of our mothers and mentor was preaching, and she mentioned it, and I said, oh, oh, me, I was thinking, I was just doing my work. I never knew that's another way in which God speaks. When you finish praying and you have, you know, finished reading your Bible, you calm down before him. I've learned that when I was small, you know, coming up in, uh, in the Lord. I will calm down, close my eyes, wherever. I'm not sleeping. But I will be using my mind to watch, check around, check around. At times, some of the things I do tell my husband, it's not that nobody, anybody comes to me to tell me anything. It's from my heart. We are here. I'm trying to meditate on it. The word will come. So, 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 hey, yeah. check it. Something is going on. Something is going I could remember there was a time about five years ago. I just wake up. I, I, I woke up from a deep sleep. I told my husband, I said, ah, man of God. Before I slept, I prayed this prayer. And this is what I saw. There is a gang up. There is a gang up somewhere. The devil is about to, to do something. My husband said, ah, in what age? I said, be watching. Be watching what is going on. Be watching. Until when the whole thing happened, Say, it is so terrible. But I never talk, think towards that side. That I was actually asking God, what are you saying? When it now happened, my husband said, wow, Jesus. And you mentioned, I said, I told you then, there is a, 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 a kind of clique. But I can't really understand in which area God can reveal the same. If you are quiet before him. He got to a stage. One of my daughters would say, ah, because there is no how uh, being in a secret place, I will see it. Be doing some things at the back. The Lord will show me. So I will be, it will be a direct question. So, 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 they will happen. They will not be looking at me. 
mothers, fathers, every one of us can, can have the similar gift if we are quiet and if we, are, if we can listen before him. If you can be able to tell us, you know, if, we, if it is possible for us to read the Bible, pray, wait upon him, he will speak the word. At times, in my dreams, I will see it. And I will stand and say, man of God, this is what I saw. He said, don't worry. We'll start praying concerning it. Let's start praying towards this direction. What is God saying? Is he saying we should go this aspect? He will show you. He be talking funny thing, but even if you cannot get the interpretation by yourself, it may be you are just going out or in the church. Message will just come. Are you? Somebody was like, ah, hold on to answer a question. What is, what is some question? And that will be the, it will solve the problem. But because we are not sensitive, and that's one of the reasons our, our uh, father in the Lord here will always tell us, your phone should not be, because you may miss the word that, w- that will change the situation. It may be during the time you are checking, ah, message, money, money, can you come? That the word for you will come. And you'll be like, oh, God have not said anything. Once have I spoken in the Bible? You must be able to hear it twice. So, not how God speaks to you. Until then, this time that we are in, you may miss your chance. You get in there, it may be for your own promotion. Uh, we have seen several people that were saying, I never knew they were traveling. That was how they gave me all the keys to the house. And said, go and be living there till we come back. And you're to very located for any key. Once you want to talk about my father, I'll solve a problem for life. On here. It has happened severally. Some people say, ah, oh, morning. Oh, morning. Oh, she didn't run to my phone. Oh, she jet time. On here. That's what we need at this moment. When things are hard. Somebody just call me. So, 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 thing. so person wants to travel. He, need, he wants to sell this and this and that. Ha. How much? I just call a ridiculous price. And they say, hey, Jack in As they call the person, say, ah, baby. This era, be sensitive. Lie it here. Let the Lord speak to you so that you won't miss the chance. As I want to say, in Japan, you want to know when you go to Japan, you go to the world. I pray the Lord will grant unto us understanding in Jesus' name. Let's look at the second point. Our second lesson today will be drawn from verse 3 to 6 of our anchor scripture. God is, let's, let's, let's look at that from verse, from verse 3. Okay? Let's see from verse 3. That's 1 Kings 17 from verse 3. Okay? It says, get the ends. And turn thee eastward, and I thyself by the brook cherry that that is be, before Jordan. And verse four, and it came, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Ah, ah. Hey, well, instruction here, yeah, like, there, there is a problem. Sorry, there is a problem everywhere. The Lord now said to him, "Get thee from where you are, or you move." Let's go. Let's, let me read it out. Go instruct her prophet Elijah to go stay at the brook cherry and that a raven bird has been instructed to feed him. Our lesson from here is that during difficult times, we should learn not to despise people and simple instructions. Hmm. Who would have said that a bird is what God will use to bring food for a prophet? Hey, Joe. Hey, yeah. Have you not seen a total big you know, 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 you Eh, come by Tony Green, Lara, Thomas, Kiye, very despised things. Lolong wa piki. Oh yeah, start giving the prophet. Go and be giving the prophet bread and meat. I don't know whether what I'm saying you understand. So I don't know. Something that you can never imagine to be something serious. Somebody will now come to you, Daddy. Oh, prophet me. 
I don't have much, oh, but every day I'll be giving you three, three thousand. Small child. Oh, I say, Daddy, pro uh, prophet, please, oh, for your baby. I just want to, I mean, you know, a small girl or a small child just walked to me. Please, I want you to be using it to buy biscuit for your son. One, one thousand. And the person is giving you one, one thousand every day. Will you not first despise the child? The first day, Tobago said, He was watching film. He was hungry. But do you know that? Ejitere, Ejitere. Biscuit now. There is nothing like 10 era. There is nothing like 20 era. Like play, like play. Oh. Biscuit of. If you see biscuit of 15 era, he's going to go like this. Oh. And it, your son, you will, I know him now. He will just help you to turn your arm. arm. And you say, Where is the biscuit? He's finished. So definitely, they are going to school every day. What will you do? Biscuit image. Uh, come and see them now. The bag will be so full with the food, and they must consume it. They will finish it, and by the time they get home again, they will eat the afternoon food. And somebody now came and said, but from what they are giving me every day, I'll be giving you one, one thousand. Sheko Koko said to snacks, you know? What to move? Fresh, yo. Caprison, well, Caprison now, I don't think they, they are selling it for 15 naira again. So one of them said, he's on Abby. Hello, ni yade sire. How much is it? Is it 100 naira or so? But 15 naira will be so, if they should drive, mm, that's finished. So definitely in a day, some of them take two or three. Such a child is not coming every day and say, but Femi, for your baby, take 1,000. The Lord went to go and pick a bird. And said, go and be feeding my servant every day. Oh yeah, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Prophet, Other are complaining. Prophet is drinking and eating. Have you, my children like suya and bread very well. So if you now combine suya with bread every day, Prophet, I want you to come here. Because God, the Lord commanded a bird. I don't know what has God commanded. Have you been able to, to come to know, to know what God is saying this season? When others are saying there is a cast down. The Lord said to me, anytime anybody is complaining, don't ever join them. Don't ever say anything because I will carry you myself. It's a word to us in this house. If you remember, man of God, I'll be saying it. In this church, I will only talk Our lesson from here is that during difficult times, we should learn not to despise people and simple instructions. <coughs> Who would have said that a bird is what God will use to bring food to a prophet? And this is why as children of God, we should deal with the spirit of what we call despise. From our life, we should learn to respect people for who God said they are, not for how they look or based on what people have said about them. How many say what to say? But she managed. And don't say what coach did that day. Eh? Eh? Ma, come and go in your back. Oh, they give you the Lord. I say, and you be surprised and say, ah, you, oh, me, Terry, 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 oh, Martin D, Igba, oh, me, oh, Martin D, stream. Because you, from the beginning, you despise that person. Never you look down on anybody at this season. Anybody can come. God can send them to you. In this situation that we find ourselves in Nigeria, God can send anybody to you. So please don't despise. God's power evangelical mission member. Don't despise, despise anybody. Anybody. The person that comes and says, Oh, I'm going to come. Oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. He was stranded. He needs an accommodation. And I said, ah, how much is to spend three days in a particular place? And he does not have money. And I said, okay, let me help you to check. Hey, John, in this uh, apartment, how many people, we went for a program. So how many people can stay here? They said, ah, if we see one more person can join in our something, how much is it? They told me 5,000 pounds. Okay, I said, no problem. I said, this is my ATM. Help him to withdraw 15,000 for three nights. And I paid for him. That was all. And I, I left that place. I never knew such a person hold that thing in his hand and say, Hello, ma, come by, by in Shelley. I think you can come and enjoy from me. You are the first person that comes in my. 
don't despise anybody. It, the person does not look like it. And to lor maron si e, koni look like en to ole rope, ole je. Hey, imagine te ye ye ba ti gbe bread ati chicken ye wa. Ati su ya wa fun. A kon, a fi enu lor gbe lor do enye kon. Enye len in tan kon. A lor gbe lor do enye. He will use his mouth. He said, that kill a man kwe kini enu wanye. Is he spoke abi? Speak or something. He will just speak it like that. Aba wal, awa lor ju si wa ju prophet. Ah. Prophet, I'm not going to be mistaken in the first day, you know? He said, ah, thank you. But in the afternoon, he still came again with the same food. We should ask that question. Because when I was reading this morning, I said, ah, master plan now. Oh, Lord, no. Don't mojo, why do you? And you're going to say, soon, long, be told, in Taja. Abi, that is the reason why you should not despise anybody. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 to 29. 1 Corinthians 1, 27 to 29 say, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He has used, he has used what? The foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has, spoke, has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised as God chosen. Yea, is things which are not to bring to naught nothing. I mean, uh, not uh, to naught things that are, the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Hey, what I wonder? Who am I? Who am I? Sometimes I may see some money in my account. The person has not been coming to church. He will be paying, he will be putting money for your message. Thank you, ma. For your clinic. Thank you, ma. One day I asked my husband, I said, I don't know the already Moshe don't feel so well for me. He said, keep, you just keep doing what you are doing. You don't know what you have done to the person that is making the person to give you money. I said, I will just look at my account and I will see money. Who can you see no pray savings in me? But in current account in me, the woman will. The person will say, for your card, ma. They will still credit the card, my core card. Eh? That have, to now buy card will, is a very difficult thing for me. Because I will just see that my phone, the killer man, can you compare it? Will not be much. I will use and My husband say, you don't use to buy credit. I say, both the data, both the credit. Because they will just help me to, to put it there. I say, I don't know me or more reason Moshe. Moses, just keep doing what you are doing for God. Allah won't pay any pada. He is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. God can pick anything that is not. So in this era, this season that we find ourselves, please don't despise anybody. They are special. They are precious. Appreciate everyone. Greet everyone. Smile. Don't let the situation of Nigeria make you to now turn your face to bone face. But the point is, you are attracting favor. People will come to you. A child look at me and say, Mama, I've been disturbing my mommy. I want to come back to your school. I don't know why my daddy took me. They brought the child. The father called me. He me, I'm going to tell you. 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 The girl, he came and said, she said, Mama, I just like your face. And I told my mommy, I like this. I said, when you were small, a baby, you now came back. Ah. And I show her a preacher. I said, hey, am I the one? I said, yes. She's in basic one. I want to tell my I want to tell her. I want to tell But I used to see your picture in our calendar. Calendar, how many years ago? Don't despise anybody. I just met them and I greeted them. How are you? God bless you. And I left. That is God for you. Don't despise anybody. This level that we find ourselves in Nigeria. Belong. Get your priority when it comes to honoring people. Stop the fight over age. I am older. What do you want to do with that? I am a young man. I am a and you are claiming, I can't shake me, I can't shake 
awon egbe wa wa nu mortuary egbe wa wa nu grave wo o ba o ba kere sin mi chat ko to wo ele julie julie this season some people fight over size or somebody will say i'm a university grade uh, graduate I have BSc in mass communication. I have degree in clinical. I have masters. Bogo masters. Bogo e weto ko kiri bo kilo ti fi ho. And that is the reason why this season say I'm still saying it. Go we send them send people to you. Don't look down. Just make up your mind that you will not despise anyone. These are the two points I will I will talk to us over this morning. Maybe second service, Papa will continue with that. But I will make definitely come to conclude uh, this particular point. I think it still remains like two for next week. But the first point, how to survive in this situation, difficult time, know how to hear God. Tobani jakwa jakwa. Tobani duro duro. Tobani mawo mawo. Tobani kwa dake masoro masoro. Let God be the one talking to you. He talks through the word, through his prophet, through dreams, I've been able to show us some, some areas. And number two, I said, never you despise anybody. Ah, I want you gang gang. 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 These are the two points for us to overcome this present situation. And Elijah, the Tishbat, said, the Lord said, I should not move. He was able to hear God. And secondly, God sent bird to bring food. Both in the morning, in the on Titi Brook, we have to be the Lord told you to move. Abi, I will one fear one your tongue soon carry in London, America. One soon carry in it. I want one cover you want. They don't want people to see them. He will jack my way. If you're fair, I thought God, if you are not telling me to leave this day, I will just go and be visiting, buy goods, and come back. The ministry is here. Me, I cannot leave all my business here. Let me continue doing what I want, but. I will visit and come back. But to Jack and go and be sleeping on the floor. Me Sunni Le Len in Nigeria Sunni Le Len London. I mean Oferu. But if God is instructing us as we've kept saying, please, Jack, say what is sellable. Move on. But don't forget God's power evangelical mission. Build the tent there. And God will bless everyone in Jesus' name. Do you have that understanding? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. As we rise on our feet. So, in this difficult time, listen to God. Know how to hear God. Grow the way you hear Him. Don't say, Oh, my baby, it's a true Bible. Oh, they grow it. Oh, my it's a true dreams. Oh, they grow it. Oh, my baby, it's a true hear. For you to hear His audible voice, it is possible. Oh, Lord, we share, baby. Oh, she share, but she share. Tick, tick, tick. Let's rise on our feet as we begin to appreciate God for this morning for the message.